Hello there. This week's theme, the wonderful fourth suit forcing convention. South deals. South has only nine high card points, but a lovely six, five shape. And good holdings as well. Ace, ten, nine, five times. Ace, jack, nine, six times. That's a clear opening bid. One club. Satisfying the rule of 20, one could say. But if I had a 6-5 shape where I had perhaps a picture in my singleton and less robust intermediates in my long suits, I may choose not to open. So it's slightly oversimplifying to shrug and say rule of 20, hence opening bid. You have to look a little bit more deeply into things, but this is a really good six, five, nine count, a clear opening bid. One club. East, West are not going to speak. North bidding a heart. South a spade, implying the five, four shape at least. All right, so North knows they're going to gain, needs more information. Two diamonds. Fourth suit forcing. Entirely coincidental, North having four cards in diamonds. So North has now created a game force and asks partner to tell more primarily about their shape. So what should South say? What's the best bid for South to show as much as they can about their shape? Now, my second choice with that south hand would be three clubs. That would show the sixth club and four card spades. So not a bad description. That would show ten black suit cards. But there's a better bid, which is two spades. Now, that shows the fifth spade, repeating the second suit, showing the fifth spade. Now, if south had five spades and five clubs... South would have opened the bidding one spade, high fives. But actually, South opened one club. Given South has five spades, yet opened one club, South must have six clubs. So South showed their sixth club by bidding spades again, which is interesting. So South has no, now shown their 11 black suit card hand. North knows they have a spade fit. North has a wonderful hand now. North knows South has only two red cards and North has two red aces. The two cover cards, as one calls them. In other words, it doesn't matter if South has two hearts and no diamonds or two diamonds and no hearts or one diamond and one heart. There are no losers in the red suits because they're covered by North's two red aces. North loves having king, queen, jack of spades. And the singleton club is nice also. Although a singleton in partner's six card suit isn't as amazing as one might first think it is because it may make suit establishment slightly harder. But that's the only tiny minus feature in an otherwise great hand. North goes for no trump, asking for aces, inferentially agreeing the last bid spades. South, five hearts, whether you're playing regular Blackwood or Roman keycard Blackwood, same reply, two aces. North goes five no trumps. And that confirms all the key cards are held. And essentially it says, talk to me, partner. If, knowing we have all the key cards held, you have a running hand, go seven. If you're not sure, talk to me about your kings. And South is going to say six spades. And we're assuming here that we're playing the specific king's method whereby South would bid a king they held rather than number of kings. 
If you're playing number of kings, south would go six clubs to show no kings. If you're playing specific kings, south goes six spades to show also no kings. Specific kings is slightly technically superior because you can tell partner where you have your king, not merely how many where you have your kings. But it wouldn't matter here. North's not going to go for a grand slam now that partner doesn't have the king of clubs. Pass. I'm not convinced North would have gone for a grand slam even if South had shown the king of clubs. It would have been up to South to go for a grand slam. If South's clubs were near solid, South could go for a grand slam once South hears North bid 5 no trump because North's 5 no trump bid confirms all the key cards. That's the primary message of the 5 no trump bid. It's not asking for kings so much as saying we have all the key cards do you fancy a grand slam that's really what the five no trump means more than anything else it's only when partners unsure they talk about their kings so six spades is the contract and west is going to lead not surprisingly king of diamonds the fourth suit the suit that wasn't bid naturally How are we going to play this hand? How about a cross rough? Could that work? It's tempting, isn't it, with those good spades? So here's how you can work out whether a cross rough will be successful. Assume you can make all your trumps. Have you got enough tricks on the side to make 12? Eight spade tricks, assume. Ace, 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 three aces on the side, eight spade tricks, 11 tricks. Even if we can make all eight of our spades separately, we can't get to 12 tricks. The cross rough cannot work. So really, we have no choice but to try to establish the clubs and make our hand good. So. Let's go for that. We'll win the first trick, of course. And now straight into clubs. The opposing club split will be relevant here. Ooh, 10 of clubs on the left. I'm not sure whether that's good news or not. Queen, I think it is good news. I think it is good news. Think about the clubs. The presence of our jack nine means we can now afford to draw the trumps and then use the jack nine of clubs as equals against their king and low club and make 12 tricks, drawing trumps, conceding a club. And we'll be able to cope with a 4-1 spade split as well. So let's draw the trumps. Queen of spades. Ah, spades are 4-1. But that's okay. We can overtake with the ace of spades. Crucial we do this because we've got to be in our hand. We don't want to reduce our trump length by having to rough a red suit card back to hand. Now we're going to draw both of West's remaining lower spades. We love that nine of spades when we open the bidding, but how useful it's turned out to be. So we've drawn the trumps and now we're going to lead the jack of clubs. The nine of clubs as well. So useful. These black suit nines have saved the day. So we forced out East's king of clubs. We can rough East's damned return with our last spade. And now the nine of clubs is a winner. There's the eight. Not good enough, East, my friend. Two long clubs.
and Diamond's Ace of Hearts is going to win the last trick. And that is Slam Made, coping with the 4-1 spade split and the 4-2 club split because we noticed the 10 and then the queen fall, the jack and the nine equals now against East. And back to the bidding. Clever, isn't it? You go clubs and then spades and then spades and you've shown your six, five shape, 11 black suit cards. You got that message across at the level of two. So I hope you enjoyed the deal and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.